We've all seen one of these. Flying discs are synonymous with picnics and summer barbecues. But for the creator, these spinning plastic saucers are part of a lifelong obsession. Farina Hedrick has traveled all the way across the country to this manufacturing plant so she can add the final ingredient to a very special set of custom-made toys. And, believe it or not, this special one-of-a-kind ingredient is actually her dead husband's ashes. He wants to fly all the time. He said, when I die, I want to be made on a frisbee. frisbee. Farina and Gary Hedrick are the widow and son of inventor and entrepreneur Ed Hedrick. As vice president of a toy manufacturing company, work for Ed was like being a kid in a candy store. It was like being a junior Santa Claus, Santa's helper almost. You, you had all these new toys nobody had ever seen before. New toys like the Frisbee, which proved inspirational to Ed. Redesigning a flying disc of his own with ridges on the outer rim to stabilize it during flight, in 1975, he created the sport of disc golf, using the flying discs that he loved. Then, sadly, at age 78, Ed suffered a stroke. He would never recover, but before he died, he shared his lifelong wish to be cremated, and his ashes poured into the mixture used for creating flying discs. You know, definitely wanted to preserve his image as a whole person. And also the idea that ashes, his ashes, could be incorporated into a disc was perfectly appropriate for him. Today, carrying Ed's ashes in an urn, Farina and Gary will fulfill their promise to Ed. Inside the plant, they reach the machine that will make flying discs with Ed's remains. This is it. Fly freely, my love. I love you. Our promise fulfilled, Dad. See you on the other side. Love you. The machine is fired up, and Ed's remains run through the mixture. Finally, the first of 4,000 specially pressed flying discs containing Ed pops out of the machine and is presented to Farina and Gary. Nice and warm, alive, close to me, close to my heart. He's preserved and where he belongs. And in the true spirit of Ed, Farina and Gary head outside to fly him around and even score a few points landing him inside the basket he created for the sport of disc golf. He's not gone. He's part of eternity. He's part of these discs now. And he's uh, part of people that shared their lives with him. OK, let's hear some chains this year. <laughs> yeah. Believe it. This is one of the actual discs that contains Ed Hedrick's ashes. His family plans to sell a limited number of them and use the money to start a museum in Ed's honor. <laughs>